I have been interested in some kayaking adventures, so like always, I started Googling. And not only did Google give me ideas, but so did Facebook. And that's how this jackass of an adventure got started. This adventure takes place at the Columbia County Visitor Center in Augusta, Georgia. And joining us today was my niece Kaylee and my son Bryson. We met our tour guide Cole Watkins behind the visitor center where he suited us up with our life vest. And then we took a short walk down to the launch site. Be sure to arrive a bit early and walk across the canal to see all the fun looking locks of love. Once at the launch site, we were assigned our kayak and we received our safety instructions. Um, we do not want to get anywhere too close to the head gates here of the Gusta Canal or the waterfall. So we're here at the waterfall down here. We're right here at the launch point. And right here is the, uh, the, the dam, Stevens Creek Dam up here. So we're going to kind of go in between these islands, kind of make like a figure eight. Um, if all the conditions are looking good today. Here we are at our tour here in Augusta with the Cole Watkins uh, tour of um, Stallings Island. We can't wait to get there. We just launched, here comes Kaylee and Bryson. We made it across the river. I don't know if y'all can see, but they were very, very cautious to tell us to stay away from the dam area there. We all made it. Everybody wave. Johnny made it across. Kaylee and Bryson made it across. Now we're just waiting for the other tour people that are way over there. So it's going to be a fun day. Come join us. On our paddling journey, Cole shared all about the history of the island and how the donkeys and the goats are now the residents of Stalling Island. Stallings Island is a national landmark. It dates back to 2500 BC. During excavation, 90 human remains have been found along with artifacts like pottery and arrowheads. It's called the birthplace of pottery. The journey to Stallings Island was nice and smooth. It was a pretty easy paddle. We enjoyed that. Stallings Island is around 20 acres. There's a fine if you're found on the island, and that could be anywhere from a simple ticket to $500 to even a jail time if they find you digging. When people started finding pottery and artifacts on the island, it became a looter's paradise. So they turned it into the national landmark that it is today with those hefty fines for violating the island. Well, over time, the island was overtaken with weeds and vegetation. The solution to that problem was to put goats on the island to eat the vegetation. Well, they ran into another problem where coyotes and wild dogs were swimming out to the island to eat the goats. So to solve that problem, they brought donkeys onto the island. What a jackass of a thing to do. Now these donkeys only goal in life is to protect these goats. They're basically the goats bodyguards. There are currently 6 to 12 goats that call Stallings home and there are 4 donkeys. Fuzzy donkeys have names. There's Hercules, Jenny, Abigail, and even Buster Jr. If you happen to take this tour, be sure to ask Cole all about Buster the Killer Donkey. It's an interesting story, and I'm sure Cole would love to share it with you. He is very knowledgeable about not only the island, but about all things local. The tour cost was $50 per person, and it was worth every single dime. I loved hearing Cole tell us the story of Stallings Island and learning the history. 
I think he has a different price. I'm thinking it was like $30 if you bring your own kayak. But you may have to haul it down to the launch site, so be aware of that. Anna? If he eats that banana, I would be extremely surprised. Oh, I Googled it. It said they like bananas. I've, I've never seen someone bring it out for him before, so I'll be like, all right. These donkeys were like big pets. They loved eating our carrots and our apples, but turned their nose up to a yummy banana. Even though Google said donkeys like bananas. It was a treat for one of the goats to come out to greet us. We were told that normally they stay hidden. The kayaking trip is an animal lover's fun adventure. These donkeys were super cool to interact with. I could have sat there all day and fed these cute creatures. They were sweet and adorable. This definitely gives a different meaning to being called a jackass. On this trip, not only did we see donkeys and goats, but deer and otter, beavers, and even a snake were spotted. Thank goodness we didn't see any alligators. It's just not a trip to Donkey Island. It's a nature adventure experience in the Augusta Canal. The time came to have to say goodbye to our newfound fuzzy friends. All good things have to come to an end. Fortunately for us, this was not the end of the tour though. We still had a lot more to see and be amazed at. We continued our paddling on down to the dam site. And as you can see here, it made a beautiful man-made waterfall. It made for beautiful um, fun pictures. We got to see whale rock um, from a distance. It really does look like a whale just laying here in the water, which was super cool. And then we finished up this paddling adventure by going around the other side of Stallings Island. So basically we paddled all the way around Stallings Island. And on every side we saw fun um, nature things to see. Now I want to encourage you to take this trip. It is a super fun adventure and if you do, here's some things to remember. And Cole will send you an email with all this listed, but be sure to bring donkey food. We found that they loved the carrots and they loved apples. Be sure you chop the apple up for them to easily eat. They were not real fond of the bananas, so maybe don't bring those. Um, be sure to bring a bottle of water and maybe a snack in your kayak. And I would suggest wearing water sandals, um, strappy shoes, because stepping in and out of the kayak, you can get a little wet. And if you're traveling, we came two hours for this tour, be sure to bring an extra change of clothes and a towel to dry off with, because you are near water and you never know, a little splashing can happen. Okay guys, we are here at the Augusta Canal, is that what this is called? And we just finished the um, Stallings um, Island tour. We got to see donkeys, they were so adorable. Absolutely loved it and I got uh, a stamp, a donkey stamp in my passport. Cole, tell me a little bit more about this passport. Yeah, well thanks for coming out. So this is the Serena 18 passport. It's something that the Columbia County CVB has put together. It's uh, a little passport uh, booklet that's got information about all five routes that we offer here in Columbia County. And once you do each one, you get a different little stamp. So today, she got the donkey stamp. Every route's got a different animal. 
And once you get all five stamps, you go up here to the, uh, the CBB's office and they give you a free t-shirt. So it's a fun little challenge. Gets you outside. Gets, it gets out of towners coming, like yourself, right. coming in here and, and, uh, and spending some time in Columbia County. Um, definitely, and it's a great adventure. Now, I love the um, Stalling Island tour, but you also offer other tours, correct? Tell we, us a little bit we, more. We do, and what's so great about the five routes, they're all different. They're, like this one was the most adventurous one. You're gonna see the biggest animals like the donkeys and the goats on the island. But the canal that right here that's behind us, you get on this one and float down. So this is a nice one if you wanna come back, have some drinks, you know, you could literally float all the way down. Betty's Branch is another fun one that's up a little ways. That one you paddle up a little ways and stop at a sandbar and get out and take a swim and come back. That's very nice, uh, popular route. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also the dam trip where you float down to uh, Riverside Park and there's also Clark's Hill Lake that's just a little drive from from this area here and uh, a lot of different camping and uh, beaches to do up there at the lake. Very nice. Sounds like there's a lot to do here. Yeah. Um, now, if someone wanted to take one of these tours, how do we find out more about information about that? The, yeah, at? yeah, great. Thank you. So, uh, ColeWatkinsTours.com has all the information about the different routes. Uh, there is also a events tab there on the website and also on the Facebook page where you can see our upcoming schedule. We've got, we can get you guys out here and uh, show you a good time. Very cool. Well, we definitely enjoyed today. Thank you so very much for having us. You guys are a joy to powder with. I'm glad you guys came. Thank you.